Hi everyone, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's let's go ahead and jump in. All right, this is gonna be a collective read. So whatever message comes out is what we're gonna go with, all right? So it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does happen to resonate with you, then all the better. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below, as well as share with your family and your friends. You never know, someone may need to see this, hear this message, all right? As well, guys, make sure you are liking, like, 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 like. That is a beautiful way to energetically support this channel, all right? So let's talk let's talk let's talk let's talk let's talk all right give me a message for the collective what's going on with the collective today spirit Ooh. somebody's trying to forgive you but they can't because they're holding on. <laughs> Somebody wants to tell you how they feel. Okay, they be riding around or in their house. You know, a song may come on that reminds them of you. It's like they can't get you off of their mind right now. This is somebody who left, who walked away. They tried to walk away first. So you wouldn't walk away from them, okay? But they regret, okay, some lies that they told you, some trickery, some deceit, okay? So maybe they, you know, did decide that, look, it's time for us to let each other go. But I feel like they may have felt like you was getting ready to leave them. So they tried to walk away from you first. But there's some trickery, some lies going on here. Something that they regret. Okay? They're regretting this right now. They're feeling like crap right now. My life is not together as it seems. However, this person is waiting for, for a sign from you. Like, they're waiting for some type of sign to show that you're still interested in them or still want them around or want to talk to them, communicate with them. They're waiting for a sign from you. Um, but they may have been trying to make it seem like they got everything together, but they don't. They don't have it all together, especially since you and, you and this person aren't together anymore. They're trying to... Get on the book or get on the ground and act like everything's all together and it's a bunch of cap. This person know they love you, all right? But their behavior is just showing otherwise. What else, Spirit? This person is highly attracted to you. Very, very attracted to you. Whether it be physically... Uh, sexually, they're extremely uh, attracted to you. But they're hoping like, dang, I hope they can forgive me one day. Okay? They know that they need to become a better person to even come back around you. But they're constantly thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind at this moment. And it could be definitely because we are entering into, we are in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograding. As well, guys, we're having a full moon in Pisces. So a lot of emotions. Um, the thing about the retrograde is in Libra. So that could be definitely like people are feeling imbalanced. Communication could be off. People are wanting to come back and try to, you know, express their feelings, especially with this full moon in Pisces. Especially. Look, I told you sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This person, just, you're on their mind, like, really, really heavy. And they're saying, look, you came closer than anyone. So you done got so close to this person. You and this person was tight. Y'all were close. Or you guys were getting there. And this person walked away because they were afraid that you were going to walk away. Now they're regretting it. 
I'm becoming a better person. They know that they need to become a better person to be in your presence. But they're, they're grateful for the spiritual lesson. They did. You taught them some type of lesson. Or you're teaching them some type of lesson. Maybe you're standing up for yourself. Something that they never seen before. You were the best thing in my life. <laughs> yeah, this person know what's up. They know what time it is when they come to you. They already know. I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to really express to you how they feel. But maybe I feel like maybe they're afraid to. Let's get some more tea. Let's see. Let's see what else this person wants to say. What else does what does this person want to tell the collective that they aren't that they haven't said? What do they want to tell the collective? I want to date you. We're on hold, but I am coming back for you. Okay. So, this person is feeling like, look, this situation, we just on hold right now. I'm going to be back. I feel like they may want to come in with an offer. Maybe want to take you on a date. Or this person could be dating other people. We'll see. We're going to put a tarot on it. Um, I feel so much love for you. I'm going to contact you. I need to speak to you. All right. So I feel like this is what I want to date you. They're going to contact you and ask you out on a date. They're going to contact you and ask you if you want to go out on a date. Right now, I feel like this person is in a dark place. Spirit is is, um, is sending them light. Okay. Um, so right now, they may feel insecure. They may be afraid to reach out to you because they don't have... Remember, the spirit is already saying, like, this person don't got their life all the way together. They know they don't have it together. It's not together as it seems. Their life could really be in shambles right now. Um, but it looks like they are going to reach out to you and contact you and want to go out on a date. Okay? Want to take you out. All right? So, let's see what the tarot got to say. What are the messages we can get on this situation? message for the collective how does this person feel about the collective please yeah I saw the eight of cups it looks like somebody definitely walked away whether it be emotionally checked out or somebody physically walked away All right, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant. Is there a divorce or somebody's waiting for somebody to get a divorce? We got the Hangman here. Um, or a commitment ended, for sure. We got the Devil, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Swords. And the Seven of Swords, High Priestess, and the Star, the Judgment, Nine of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So this person is over here pouting. They're really disappointed. This, this person is really, really disappointed for how things turned out, how things are going. This person is sitting over here spying on you, okay? I'm not sure if this person is has a third party or they're spying to see if you have what you got going on, if you're dealing with somebody. Okay, tell me more about this devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I got Aquarius' energy as well as Pisces' energy here as well too with this high priestess. Tell me about the devil here.
the Knight of Pentacles. Some of y'all are definitely dealing like with the Capricorn or an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, so we got the Four of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. This person is holding back from contacting you. Um, I feel like they're holding back from contacting you. They're taking their sweet ass time because they're spying on you. Okay. So why is the uh, three of swords here? Ace of pentacles. Okay. So I'm getting that this person hasn't uh, moved forward or progressed person could be out partying drinking having fun um why is the ace of pentacles here two of pentacles why is the page of swords here the strength card a Leo could be involved, but there is definitely some spying going on. Okay, tell me why the strength card is here. And the Hermit. Virgo. A Virgo could be spying. Could be multiple people watching you. This person could be also be trying to figure out like where are you getting this confidence from? You weren't like you weren't like that when I was with you. When we were together, you weren't like that. Okay, um, tell me more about this hermit. Nine of Wands. This person is definitely for sure, for sure, watching you. And the fact of it is, is it's like they're hiding, like maybe on a fake page or something like that. Maybe they're watching on social media. They got a fake page. Why is the Seven of Swords here? King of Swords. This person is thinking that you're lying. This person thinks that you have multiple suitors. Um, so they're on the lookout watching. I'm seeing a husband um, for some of you. We got the emperor and the four of wands. A husband or a married man or uh, someone older. This person could be very much so like... Um, very um like a boss type energy they could own a business why is the king of swords here this person thinks that you're lying so they're just kind of like watching you hierophant yeah for some of you this is a husband or a wife or something like that tell me more could be dealing with the taurus okay queen of wands Leo Sagittarius could be involved, but I'm getting that there could possibly be like somebody competing or there's some conflict, okay? Now, why is the High Priestess here in the past? Ooh, the Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands jumped out. All right, so this person... I'm getting like... I'm hearing, I know they talking shit. <laughs> I know they talking mess, excuse me. I know they talking mess. I know he or she got something to say. Why is the five of swords here? Yeah, because some type of truth was revealed. So this person is just like knowing like, dang, I know they over there talking bad about me. You know they over there talking bad about me. Why is the ace of swords here? The magician, yeah. Something was illuminated. Something was brought to the light, okay. Somebody is saying, look, I made you, a, I made you a, a solid offer. So did this person make you some type of offer of some sort? But I'm getting, I'm hearing like somebody could be doing something to get a reaction. Because why, are there in, why is their energy over here like, yeah, I knew. I know they over there. I know he or she over there talking bad about me now. And then it's like they're watching like to see your reaction. Okay, now we got the star card here for future energy. Ten of Wands wanted to jump. This person is hoping that, hoping that they, these, okay, so this person has a plan, a plot. They may be doing things to try to get your attention. 
Okay, like this person plans on coming towards you, but they want to kind of like break you down first. It's kind of like they want to break you down first before they come towards you. They feel like you have too much balance or you're too um, you're too spiritually mature. And they want to play games. So I'm getting like this person wants to break you down before they come towards you. To get you to let your guard down, get you to feel kind of like weak so they can come in and say what they want and try to get you back and do what they want and try to get you back. It's really manipulation at its finest. Now, their energy is the judgment. Page of Pentacles. They want to contact you. Face, they want to talk to you face to face. This person really wants to talk to you face to face. But they've been waiting and holding back. Like they're they're really, really like, oh, I wanna I just wanna talk to them so bad. I wanna talk to them so badly. Like, but I wanna see if I can break them down first. But get ready because this person is coming towards you in the near future. Now in their hopes and fears, we got the two of swords. So they're, they're at a crossroad right now. Or they fear being in a cross. Yeah, they fear being stuck. Um, the four of cups is the outcome. This person is disappointed. Um, soaking. Yeah, temperance. They don't have any balance in their life since you aren't in it. They don't have any peace. Got the Queen of Cups and the Hangman could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, they don't have any peace. Tell me, tell me more about this uh, Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, <laughs> the Three of Pentacles. It's like they everything that they're trying is not working, so they aren't at peace. They aren't okay. They playing these little games, okay? They went out just running around playing games like a little child. Um, it's like none, their plan isn't working. Their situation isn't balanced, isn't peaceful. Queen of Cups could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone could have like something going on on the side, a mystery person here with the moon and the empress. That energy definitely can kind of give me like mistress or somebody who's a secret on the side, something like that. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. Okay, so something, a situation, it's like somebody's running back to somebody. We got the world, okay? They're saying, look, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to compete anymore. I want this to be over. So you could be dealing with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? But I do see this person coming, coming back towards you, okay? Well, they plan on coming back towards you. They want to talk to you face to face. But the part about it that I don't like, yeah, see, this person is tired of <laughs> of applying this type of pressure and not getting the results, okay? Yeah, the Tower and the Ten of Swords, okay? So this person is really upset because they haven't talked to you and they're having regrets. They over here crying and sulking. They un aren't getting anywhere, <laughs> okay? Like, their situation isn't any better. Okay, they walked away from you or however the situation went and their situation has not gotten better. All right, so now they want to come along and come talk to you face to face and all of that. All right, so that's the message that I got for you guys. If this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the like button. All right, share with your family and friends as well, guys. Comment below. Let me know what's going on, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Until next time, ciao for now.